Okay, so here we are again, a couple months later after the last video. Everything is pretty much in, this, in the same state as it was uh, last time I ran one of these videos. But there is something different, actually. But it's not in this area, although I did finish the, uh, the desk, so it looks a little nicer. It's not just raw wood. But anyway, much more importantly, is back over by the transmitter site. <laughs> transmitter site. <laughs> The, the corner of the basement over here. So I think we all remember that uh, I had the transmitter um, and some SWR meter, dummy load and all that, and then obviously the antennas. But um, a couple months ago, I wanted to do some sampling to see, you know, what did the, the, the audio signal look like when, it, uh, as opposed to what it did just sound like. So when I went out and you know, I found these two things. Uh, these are modulation monitors. Uh, this is like one of the old standby classics. The actual manufacturer is Belair. I think that's how it's pronounced, but these are private label for RCA. And these are so old. I mean, they sort of worked, but uh, I had never had a lot of confidence in what it was that I was seeing. And I'm, I'm certainly no engineer, quite honestly, so I wasn't even sure what to do, you know, how to make them even better. So, in lieu of them, I, w I got another one, another modulation monitor, which is much more user friendly. And uh, so it gives me on the upper left my total modulation, and uh, on the right, these right two meters, I have them set for left and right stereo uh, modulation. And this thing is kind of cool to look like at, but it does show that I'm you know, plenty loud. Uh, if you look at the modulation monitor, the total modulation, I am sitting just at about 100%. I'm, I, and I each actually even have the trip for the modulation, uh, the peak monitor, set at 110%, um, which is kind of cool. Actually, this one was a little bit different than the uh, other modulation monitor, of the, the RCAs we just saw, in, in that I can actually set on here the frequency that I wanted to monitor, you know, my own frequency, 101.7. Whereas the other ones, the, the RCA, you, you had to buy a specific crystal, uh, install that crystal in an oven in order for that thing to work. So it was not very frequency agile, to say the least. But anyway, I mean, I'm sure it was good in the day, uh, and it, was prob it probably is like 30 years old. And though this may not be this, you know, this century's model, what I'm showing here is this QEI, um, it's definitely something I can work with. It's not too, you know, too complicated, but it's also uh, about the right level of complexity that I can understand. But anyway, the uh, point being with this whole thing is, you know, what kind of uh, modulation am I having, starting with you know, what goes on in the studio and then all the uh, post-studio uh, processing, the equalizer, the compressor, the um, the multi, the multi um, frequency, what was that called? Multi frequency limiter, multi band limiter, and then you know coming out of the through the uh, transmitter. But what does it really look like visually? And this this goes and shows what it looks like visually. Pretty good. Um, so again, kind of a you know on a shoestring budget still. Uh, this is uh, I guess it is what it is. And certainly, like I, I think I said in the earlier video, uh, any radio station person who's a real radio station person would sort of chuckle at all this. But you know what? I'm not. It's a hobby. So I'm kind of enjoying it. All right. I think that's it. Thanks for watching.